Somalia is one of the countries in the Horn of Africa that's been worst hit by the current drought. Over 7 million people in the country have been affected, according to recent UN estimates. A significant portion of this population are school-aged children. Four consecutive rainy seasons have failed in Somalia, a climactic event not seen in at least 40 years. Increasing economic pressures such as conflict and COVID-19 are also driving the country to the brink of famine. The situation has also been worsened by widespread insecurity across most of rural Somalia, where armed groups, including Al-Shabaab, remain active. Well, I earlier spoke with Rain Paulson, the Director for Global Emergencies and Resilience uh, of the Food and Agriculture Organization. He gave CGTN some insights on the humanitarian situation in Somalia. Somalia currently faces an unprecedented situation with the drought that's unfolding, um, by which we mean that the last four rains have failed and there are concerns about uh, the upcoming fifth rain. In, in human terms, in practical terms, uh, we see that at the beginning of the year, January this year, uh, there were about 2.4 million people in need of uh, urgent assistance. That number now uh, is up to 7.1 million uh, people. So a situation that's unfolding uh, dramatically and um, in contradistinction to uh, previous crises and previous droughts as I've been engaging with local counterparts and government ministries here, the term that's used to describe this current drought is the equalizer, by which they mean it really touches uh, everyone and affects uh, all parts of the country. So a key backbone of the intervention that the Food and Agriculture Organization and other partners are using is uh, cash transfers to be able quickly to get out to as many drought affected people as possible to allow them uh, to purchase what they need uh, on a daily basis to purchase food uh, and key uh, supplies. We target this at the most affected, those that have lost um, livestock, those that have lost uh, assets, those that have been forced to flee because uh, crops have failed or as I said, they, they've lost uh, lost livestock. And so these are the people uh, we're targeting. So a lot of this is around uh, getting cash quickly into people's hands. Then uh, other organizations uh, engage in other activities. But uh, FAO is also very concerned about uh, livestock. Uh, since the middle of last year, 3 million livestock have died in Somalia uh, alone. And so another key part of our intervention is helping to keep livestock alive. This is about putting milk uh, in the mouths of uh, vulnerable uh, children and protecting uh, key uh, assets. And so our plan as FAO is to uh, is to treat with urgent medical supplies, uh, with uh, food and uh, fodder for animals, some 7 million livestock, should we be able to get the resources. So I think actually the uh, responses over the last uh, months uh, have been uh, actually very effective, uh, but we face wider constraints. I say they've been very effective because, as I said, we're now in uh, subsequent to four failed rains. This is an unprecedented situation. This, is, this has not happened in uh, 40 years uh, at least. And the fact that we don't have an even larger crisis now is testimony to the resilience uh, that we've been able to build in partnership with uh, the government and other uh, stakeholders. Uh, but we do face a funding uh, challenge collectively. Uh, the needs far outstrip the resources that are available uh, and I would say the alarm bells on this crisis, FAO and others have been ringing these alarm bells uh, since last year, since the middle of last year. Um, we called for anticipatory action. Uh, funding wasn't available to allow us to mitigate the crisis there, but we are now scaling up uh, a response um, together with the uh, government and other stakeholders.